They're side by side as they come down the track. Uh-oh, looks like car number 64 has a problem. Look out! Medford and Bashman did some rubbing, but neither would give an inch. Look out! Lee Jr. and Hollister did some rubbing, but neither would give an inch. Look out! Turner and Banks did some rubbing, but neither would give an inch. Woo-hoo! Did you see that? What a maneuver! They're racing like it's the last race of the season. These competitors should be thinking about heading into the pit soon. The track is heating up and we could see some records and some wrecks here today. Looks like the track is cooling off and they're getting better traction out there. Wow, that's the fastest pit stop of the day! Some teams are having trouble in the pits. They'll have to make up the time. It's getting crazy down there! They're three wide on the turns, which can only mean one thing. Accidents. Number 64 is going to need some more wedge. He's really getting loose in the corner. Oh, number 33 needs some more wedge. He's getting too loose in the corner. Number 52 is getting sort of loose into those corners. He's going to need some more wedge. On that last pit stop, number 30 asked for half a pound out of the right rear and to get squeegee. Apparently, he's been driving with some bugs on the windshield. Number 74 took right side tires only on his last pit stop. That's a gamble right there. We'll see how it pays off later. Number 58 only took right side tires on his last pit stop. He's gambling. We'll see how it pays off. That adjustment Banks made to his spoiler is paying off. He's glued to the track and really making up some time. Lee Jr. is glued to the track and really making up some time. That adjustment he made to his spoiler is really paying off. Sure Grip made a smart move having his spoiler adjusted. He's glued to the track and making up tons of time. Couple of the cars out there are tight. You can see them fighting to make the turns. Let's see who's going to make it off pit road first. It's a shame he's not having a better run today. Number 58 was fast in qualifying. Number 23 was fast in qualifying. Sure is a shame he's not having a better run today. Here he comes into pit road. We're seeing some good runs out there today. If they keep it up, we're going to see a new track record. They're trading paint and flying along the back stretch. The other racers better watch out for those two. Woo-wee! Number 64 is on rails today. Woo-wee! Number 52 is a rocket today. Woo-wee! Number 121 is flying today. Woo-wee! Number 117 is a rockin' and a rollin' today. Woo-wee! Number 33 is on fire today. Fans, today's race is sponsored by Nitro 8. Nitro 8, high energy drink for high energy cars. Remember, fans, Easy Idle makes waking up easy. Easy Idle, a warm start to a cold morning. The official sponsor of the Piston Cup Series is Dynaco Fuel. There seems to be a pack of fans in the upper deck of Section 27 rooting for their favorite racer, Lightning McQueen. Over in section one, there's quite a bit of support for number 86, Chick Hicks. Just look at all those green paint jobs. Our own Daryl Car Trip seems to have some loyal support over in section 49. Now that's what I call true fans. Today's Piston Cup fan of the race is Missy in section eight. She's a fan of number 52, and for being the fan of the race, she'll receive a free supercharged package from RPM. RPM is the number one nighttime backfire suppressant. Congratulations, Missy. Today's fan of the race is Natty in section 75. It's her first race, and she's won a personal tour of the track by her favorite racer, number 65. Today's Piston Cup fan of the race is in section 4. Space number 27. Dusty is today's fan of the race. Your prize is on its way up to you. Announcing the Piston Cup fan of the race. And it's Cam in section 32. You've just won three fun-filled days at the Piston Cup Racing School. Congratulations. Johnny and Anna in section 54 are today's fans of the race. They're brother and sister, and boy, you'd think they're out on the track with the way they compete. We're looking for someone in section 59, space 22. You, yes you, you're today's Piston Cup fan of the race. You've won an incredible vacation package. Medford passes Lee Jr. to move up a position. Conklin passes Jolson to move up a position. Hollister passes Shore Grip to move up a position. Hollister passes Bashman to move up a position. Riley and Buck are fighting for the position. 
Neither want to back off. Sure Grip and Hollister are fighting for the position. Neither want to back off. Jolson and Turner are fighting for the position. Neither want to back off. Lee Jr. and Sure Grip got together and caused a whole mess of trouble. Looks like Hollister spun out and hit the wall. He's going to come in for repairs. Whoa! Banks has got to hold it together. He's out of control. And Banks is in the wall, but seems all right. He's going to continue. Turner hits the wall, but he seems okay. He'll continue. And Medford right into the wall. He seems all right. He'll keep on racing. Ooh, McCoy into the wall. He seems all right. Yes, he'll continue. You know, I spoke with number 52's crew chief this morning, and he assured me that his racer is out to win today. Sure has been a tough year for number 33 and his crew. They're just hoping to finish in the top 10 and gain experience for next season. Looks like 84 is dropping back. If this continues, he'll be well out of contention. Y'all see that in the infield? That's one happy tow truck driving backwards. Now that's a fan. Please give a warm thank you to one of today's race sponsors. Rusty's. Everyone attending today will receive a trial sample of Rusty's medicated bumper ointment. That's Rusty's. Ladies and gentle cars, please give a honk out to one of today's race sponsors, Hostile Takeover Bank. Come in for all of your finance needs. Collateral requirement. That's Hostile Takeover Bank. Proud sponsor of number 86 car, Chick Hicks. Today's race is sponsored in part by Team Gaspin. Hood ache relief for cars big and small. Number 52 has fallen back. Looks like he's exhausted. <laughs> Woo, that was a close one for number 121. That had to scare the brake fluid out of him. And there's Chick Hicks, giving it 100%. Let's see if he can keep it there. Chick Hicks taking the lead. But if the other racers have anything to say about it, he won't be there for long. And Chick Hicks laying down rubber as he muscles into the top spot. Number 86 out front for now, but the pressure is on. Number 86 taking the lead. Daryl Cartrip out of the booth and out in front. Daryl closing in and nicely done. He's got the lead. Yes, sir, this is where all that experience pays off. Cartrip, you got a lot of happy fans out there. And for good reason. Car trip looking strong out there. Keep up the good work. No question about it. That hornet's got a sting. Doc Hudson's been busy chipping away at that lead. And now he's running with it. Doc Hudson out in front. You gotta wonder if he'd have come back sooner if he knew it was gonna be this easy. And we got some excited Hornet fans out there. Maybe even some old timers who saw him race back in 51. Yes, sir. This is where all that experience pays off. Watch and learn, kiddies. Doc to the front of the line. That's a classic move from a classic car. It might have been over 50 years since Doc raced last, but you'd never know it. Look at him fly. He's out in front. Say it with me, folks. Hail to the king. And the king is out in front. A place he's real familiar with. And charging to the front, number 43. Strip Weathers, the king. The king is leading this parade. Strip Weathers dominating the track. Number 43. Yep, got around that one. Lightning McQueen is dominating the track. Lightning McQueen moving up front. Ah, uh, nothing feels better than leading the pack. Open track ahead. Now that's a familiar view for Lightning McQueen. And here comes McQueen taking the lead. A pretty familiar position for him these days. And charging to the front, number 95, Lightning McQueen. Number 95 putting on a great show. Just listen to that crowd. A daring move forward by Lightning McQueen. It might just be enough to give him that win. Here's McQueen challenging for the lead. He's got it. We have a new race leader. Number 95, Lightning McQueen. Check it out! Lightning McQueen just flat out past the leader! McQueen takes the lead! And the crowd is going wild! Whoa! What a move! McQueen's out in front! He's been racing like a veteran all day! And Lightning McQueen makes it look easy! Last season's Rookie of the Year leading the pack! And Lightning McQueen is out in front! You know, the fans voted him Best Looking Racer of the Year! Yes sir, you can tell Hicks isn't too pleased about this! Keep it clean, Chick. Not too good for Hicks. Things will get harder and harder as he loses his nerve now. Without too much support from the fans this season, Chick's got to push harder than the rest. Does he have it in him? Not too sure what's happening to number 86. Or maybe it's just business as usual. Whoops. Number 86 moving back to second place. 
A pretty familiar view for Chick Hicks. Chick Hicks is feeling the disappointment as he drops back again. Uh-oh, Chick Hicks has just lost his lead. Let's see how he handles this. He's not one to give up that easy. Can Cartrip fight his way back to the lead? Sure hope Daryl's in a good mood because he can't be too thrilled about his current standing. Daryl Cartrip is out of the lead spot, but for how long? Easy come, easy go. Can Cartrip regain that top spot? Now that'll give you a kick in the tailpipe. Uh-oh, Doc Hudson's losing the lead. He's going to have to make up some ground. Doc's got these young guys just chipping away at his lead, and oh no, there it goes! Oh, alrighty, it's been an easy ride for Hudson so far. Now he's really under some pressure. Doc Hudson must be disappointed. We'll see if he can't reclaim that top spot. Doc Hudson loses a lead. Let's see how the old pro handles this. You gotta wonder how confident that lead car is feeling right now with the king still behind him. Talk about king for a day. But this won't last long. Hold your breath, folks. Let's see what the king does next. Bad news for the king. Looks like he's got competition for the throne. And number 43 is out of the lead spot. But for how long? Now that's a bit of bad luck for McQueen. Let's hope he can take back his lead soon. And McQueen loses the lead spot. He's going to have to work to get that back. Whoa, I just blinked for a second and McQueen lost his lead. And McQueen's been passed for the lead. It's okay, he's still within striking distance. It's alright, we've seen McQueen pull out of worse trouble. Look for a quick comeback. A bit of advice to Lightning McQueen, don't get even, just get ahead and keep your cool. Let's hope falling back into second place is all part of McQueen's strategy. In the offseason, McQueen has been working with his new crew chief, racing legend Doc Hudson. I'm sure we'll see number 95 move back up before the end of the race. Out of first, but the fans still love him. Number 95 moves off first and falls into second place. Uh-oh, there could be a problem with McQueen. He's fallen off the lead. Now that's a happy crowd out there as Chick Hicks falls back again. Hicks is fighting hard to stay with the pack. And there's number 86 fading back. Chick Hicks lagging behind. Folks, I think what little patience Chick Hicks has shown so far far is about to run out. Racers, watch your backs. Uh-oh, not what Car Trip had planned. Let's see how he recovers. Car Trip slipping back. Uh-oh, there's Daryl Car Trip fading back. Whoa there, Car Trip. Get back on it. Just a minor problem. Let's see what Car Trip does with this. Doc Hudson's starting to fade a bit. Maybe he's just got to catch his breath. And Hudson's having an off moment giving up that spot. Doc Hudson slipping behind a bit. And Hudson takes a drop back. Keep an eye on him as he pushes for that spot again. Doc Hudson fading back. Doc Hudson dropping behind. Don't worry, folks. Nothing he can't handle. Uh-oh, the king slips back. But longtime fans know this is only temporary. You see, this is where the king excels. Watch him make the most of this situation. Number 43, fading back. Uh-oh, lightning slipping behind. He better get back on it. Lightning's got some company. And he drops back a bit. Seems to be a lapse in concentration out there for McQueen. He let him by on that one. McQueen dropping back. Number 95, dropping back a spot. A mistake from Lightning McQueen or just room for improvement? Lightning McQueen falls back. Or is it a fake out? You never know with this kid. And a change up in positions for number 95. Looks like trouble for number 95. He's falling back. McQueen is having some issues and is off the pace. Something's got to be wrong with McQueen. He's getting passed. Something's definitely going on with number 95. McQueen's out of the groove and losing a position. McQueen is trying to make something happen. But it looks like it's only getting worse. McQueen is having trouble keeping his position. McQueen is falling off the pace. Chick Hicks looking for that lead. Number 86 driving it on the edge as always. Whoa-oh, big push from number 86. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Not that Chick was ever nice to begin with. Looks like Chick left his manners behind in the pits. Nice move by Chick Hicks. Not that the crowd cares much, though. They got a long memory. Daryl Cartrip on a roll. Woo! Boy, a gutsy move by Daryl Cartrip. Careful as you pass out there, Cartrip. Mind those fenders. And here comes Daryl Cartrip digging for the lead. He's getting there. Nice move by Cartrip. Don't think that other fella was ready for that. Hope these young guns are paying attention. 
They got a lot to learn from a car like Doc Hudson. Yes, sir, just listen to that crowd. Still a lot of love out there for Doc Hudson. Effortless move forward by Hudson, keeping that momentum. After more than 50 years of racing, Hudson's looking stronger than ever. Doc Hudson closing in. Yeah, that just might ruin someone's day. Doc's always had a PhD in racing. Look at him go! Number 43, a model of patience and style. Strip Weathers on a roll! Keep an eye on number 43. He's certainly the one to watch. Strip Weathers is closing in. Oh yeah, he's got it! Listen to that crowd! They're delirious just watching the king! Woo-hoo! Look at that move! The king is having way too much fun out there! Woo! Looks like Lightning's having a great day out there. And here comes Lightning McQueen, passing for the lead. Just listen to that crowd roar. We sure have some happy McQueen fans out in this audience. Oh my, now that move right there proves there are winners and there are losers. Lightning McQueen closing in, and nicely done. Fan favorite Lightning McQueen is moving forward. Oh, oh, oh yeah, his sponsor's sure gonna love that attention. Racing is hard business, folks, but McQueen sure makes it look easy, doesn't he? McQueen's got his rubber to the road and he's firing on all cylinders. There he goes, number 95 is just a rock today. I tell you what, that McQueen is in a league all his own. McQueen's not satisfied with being stuck in the pack. Oh look, he's gonna try and make a run for it. He's racing his wheels off today. McQueen takes a commanding lead of first place. I'm telling you, there is no stopping McQueen today. No one's gonna be able to hold him off. McQueen is just too fast today. Number 95 is racing his wheels off. Chick Hicks. Making friends as usual. There goes Chick Hicks, not leaving anything on the table. Watch out, Chick. Hot tires equals hot tempers. Not the most popular racer out there, but it's not hurting his performance. Hicks better watch out. From what I've heard, he hasn't got many friends out there. But they're not all enemies. Yet, Chick Hicks busting through the pack. Daryl Car Trip is out of the booth on the track and having a good old time. When you've watched all those races like Daryl has, it's got to help you out once you're back on the track. Daryl Car Trip, putting on a good show for the fans. You want to see a racer enjoying himself? Just keep your eyes on Car Trip. Oh yeah, Daryl's dialed in on this one. Daryl Car Trip, boy he's having a great day out there so far. Looks like Doc Hudson is stuck in traffic. No, he found a hole and got through it. Calm and collected. Just watch Doc go. Boy, you can tell Doc Hudson's having the time of his life out there today. All that time away from the track hasn't hurt Doc one bit. And here's Doc Hudson threading the needle. Doc Hudson on a roll. You can always tell when a racer's doing good because he's having fun passing cars left and right. Here comes the king looking like he's on rails. You want to talk about a blue streak? There goes Weathers, sliding through like one, two, three. Number 43, making steady progress. Number 43, working hard out there. And here comes the king, classing up the joint. This crowd sure is happy to see Weathers on the track. And there goes Lightning McQueen, slipping through the pack. Whoa, a gutsy move by Lightning as he gains a couple of spots there. Well, they say Lightning never strikes twice, but those cars out there will tell you different. McQueen's definitely in the zone, just look at his determination. Here comes Lightning McQueen. Just look at him moving aside. Yes, sir. He sure knows his way around the track. Check out Lightning McQueen. He's definitely proven he's not a rookie anymore. Fighting through the pack, it's number 95, Lightning McQueen. Wow, will you look at him moving aside for him? You'd almost think they're saying please and thank you. He's picking them off one at a time. And McQueen takes another spot. McQueen is driving like the field is standing still. They're side by side, and it's McQueen. There's just no stopping 95 today. McQueen passes another. You know, he always runs well at this track. Is there any stopping Lightning McQueen? Woo-wee. He passed another. Can anyone stop Lightning? There's another one. McQueen's passing through the field like he's racing against golf carts. McQueen moves up a spot as he passes Medford. McQueen moves up a couple spots as he passes Medford and Hollister. McQueen is looking to make a move real quick here. And here's the checkered flag. It's gonna be Chick Hicks. Here's the checkered flag. And it's Daryl Cartrip. 
here's the checkered flag, and it's Doug Hudson! And here's the checkered flag, it's, it's the king! And here's the checkered flag, it's, it's Lightning McQueen! Bad news for Chick Hicks. Not that the fans are too worried. Not after last season. Ow, that's a bad knock for number 86. I don't care who you are or what you've done in the past. That just ain't no fun. Woo, think the body shop's gonna be working overtime this weekend. Chick Hicks down and not looking too good. Those racers better watch out. He's not gonna be too happy. 100% chance of thunderclouds for Chick Hicks after that wreck. Not too graceful, folks. Not too graceful at all. Uh-oh, looks like Car Trip's gonna be spending some time in the body shop this weekend. Oh, donated some paint back there. Whoa, things take a turn for the worse for Daryl Car Trip. Watch out, Car Trip. Accidents may happen, but they don't always have to. Now that's a bit of bad luck for Car Trip. Can he make up that time? Uh-oh, things just took a turn for the worse for Doc Hudson. Now that's gotta hurt. Uh-oh, some trouble with Hudson. We all remember what happened last time. Folks, you might think that's gonna put him out of it. But let's not forget who we're talking about here. Doc Hudson taking a nasty spill out there. Hope he's okay. Oh, you know Doc's feeling disappointed about that. Oh, that was a tough break. Let's see if Weathers can make back that time. Whoa, number 43. What happened out there? Ooh, wrecked for a mile. Oh, hello, wall. Uh-oh, that doesn't look good for McQueen. Whoa, number 95. What was he thinking? Whoops, looks like the body shop's gonna be working this weekend. Think we're gonna have an unhappy pit crew, folks. Ouch, now that's gonna leave a mark. Whoa, lightning sure took a beating out there. Hope he can get back in the race after that. A bad spill for Lightning McQueen. That's racing, folks. Oh, that's gonna hurt McQueen's chances to win today. Not sure what happened, but McQueen is in some trouble. And Lightning McQueen involved in a crash. We're checking the track to see if any others were involved. This doesn't look good for number 95. Let's hope he's not taken to the garage. Trading paint and rubbing with other cars is part of racing. But reckon, well, McQueen knows that only hurts his chances. Looks like McQueen just got loose and made a whole lot of smoke. Woo! Good old boy racing. McQueen is fine after going for that ride, but he'll lose some spots. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. There's concern in the stands for number 95, Lightning McQueen. Well, looks like he's okay and will continue racing. 